yesterday morning, deputies were notified of a potential child abuse. Uh, this case initially started uh, when a, uh, a woman took her one-year-old infant son to the Crete Hospital uh, for, uh, for uh, some injuries that he had suffered. Uh, an examination at the Crete Hospital determined the child was severely injured, uh, was suffering from severe head trauma, and the child was life flighted to Brian LGH West as a trauma patient. Um, subsequent medical ev evaluation and examination of the baby revealed uh, two separate areas of the child's brain that were bleeding uh, internally, and then a, a skull fracture, a swelling of the brain, and a, and a buccal fracture of the left arm, which was already in the healing stages. Uh, these injuries occurred at a residence in Martell, Nebraska, while the child was in the, ch in the care of uh, the boyfriend of the mother and was reported to her by the boyfriend while she was at work in Lincoln. 25-year-old uh, Matthew Wiley is the boyfriend. He was arrested and lodged in jail for felony child abuse. Uh, the child's mother, 22-year-old uh, Kayla Jurgensen, was cited and released for child abuse. Uh, the uh, one-year-old boy has been placed into the custody of Child Protective Services. Uh, the tragic part of this case, besides the injuries to this one-year-old, is that Wiley is currently on parole for second-degree assault and a felony child abuse stemming from an incident at the same house in 2009 where a three-month-old boy suffered a severe laceration to his tongue that was uh, through and through that required surgery to correct. Wiley uh, was convicted of that charge, had been sentenced uh, in uh, February of 2010 to three to six years in prison for the assault and two to five years in prison for the child abuse. He was paroled in October of 2011 uh, with the condition that he not have any contact uh, with children under the age of 12. His discharge date from parole is December 26, 2012. Uh, the other part of this uh, is that we had received information uh, via the Child Protective Services in August of 2012 that Jurgensen and her baby were living with uh, Wiley in the Martell home. An investigation by us did not determine any, any child abuse occurring at that time, but we were aware of Wiley's parole status and, and that his parole officer had been to the house earlier that day and had conducted a site visit where they were notified of the living arrangements of Jurgensen and her baby in the house. 